Okay. Now, what cases can be handled by the recovery software? Just to summarize again, uh, uh, so system software has low tolerance for read instability, and that's why I, what I just I just uh, explained to you. So. What problems it may cause? Uh, when drive respond with an error, so basically uh, uh, operating system send the, send the command, read some certain block of sectors, and drive respond with an error, anything can happen. Because it, it depends on, again, how system software can handle this issue. It could, be, it could just lose data by skipping the entire block, because you understand that operating system always uh, read by, by blocks of sectors, right? Not on a single sector. Uh, as a minimum cluster, but usually it's sequential data. It could be like a megabyte of data uh, reading the entire block. And what will happen is one single batch sector is within that one, one megabyte of data, the entire block will be skipped, okay? So system software has no capabilities of digging into and getting, uh, you know, like everything that is possible within that megabyte because of the problem with, with one uh, occasional best sector, okay? Again, it's just, uh, it just uh, 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 low tolerance, okay? So it's not designed for this purpose, but it also could drop the connection to the drive. Because it depends on what kind of error the drive respo respond with. Because the drive has uh, uh, lots and lots of different kinds of errors. Okay? When, when operating systems just send the drive, uh, send, uh, send the command, read block of sectors, uh, even respond could be very different. Okay? There are some certain errors. Uh, the drive may report, it's a media problem. Or the drive may report, I abort this command completely. Okay, so I just abort the command because whatever, because of the firmware exception or whatever, and based on the, this response, it depends on system software what it's gonna do, okay? And as I said, you may start with the fact that some sectors are missing and end with the fact that the entire connection to the drive, just dro drive dropped, okay? Drive just disappeared. And probably you've seen those situation. There is a drive, and as, to, as soon as you start accessing data, drive may, the operating system may just drop connection to the drive, and it just disappears. Okay, no, 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 no drive. It depends on the, what error <coughs> drive reports. Now, drive responds too slowly. Uh, that's, that's one of the key uh, issues with system software. Uh, system software always wait until the drive responds. Okay, there is no, there is no, uh, in most cases, there is no uh, things like timeout, for instance. So basically, uh, operating system send command read block, and when drive starts doing something, it, it may do it, you know, just one second, it could, it could do one minute. Uh, system software has no capabilities of handling this issue, but wait until the drive responds. And that's why it could cause different kind of issues uh, with, with the system software and, and unfortunately leads uh, to uh, further degradation of drive, okay? Because whenever operating system is waiting for the drive to respond, drive usually does very bad things to itself, okay? Trust me on that. If you would see what it's doing, uh, it's, and, and you would care about you know, the, this you know, drive that keeps your user's data, you would, you would just you know, get crazy because it's just jumping back and forth and doing lots and lots of different things. It's updating firmware, it's updating smart attributes, it's updating bad sectors tables. Uh, every drive may have like a hundreds of different logs that keeps track of what's happening. So basically, we just hit one bad sector and drive did like, like, like entire reinitialization of itself and writing to like 20 or 30 different firmware modules, okay? And, and you still keep waiting until it's doing this. So, so basically, just also just imagine that always keep in mind when you're doing something that it's, it, it, whatever, whatever operating system send the command and whatever it's waiting for, it's causing lots and lots of uh, degradation, okay, to the drive. <clears throat> And then occasionally, drive even stop responding. And this is where uh, system software may end up with a completely unpredictable behavior, like a system freeze or crash or anything. Because again, uh, system software is supposed to wait until for the drive to respond, and, uh, and uh, it, 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 it assumes that the drive will respond. Okay? And if it doesn't respond, then anything can happen. Okay? <clears throat> so, 
Now we understand what's, uh, what's going behind a little bit, right? A system software that everything is divided into three di uh, different uh, uh, level of issues. And uh, let's have a look what is average IT data recovery process. What is the average process that the IT industry is, uh, is applying when we have the drive that has, well, when, when the computer has no access to files, okay? Just, just an average. Well, the first thing what uh, any average IT person does, it's connect the customer drive to operating system and see if it can be mounted, right, to copy f files off. Uh, just, uh, just a normal way. Okay, and, uh, and unfortunately, uh, if it doesn't work, uh, what usually people do, disconnect it, connect it back, right, and see maybe at some point, maybe we are lucky, you know, we're crossing our fingers and at some point it will mount a drive, it will mount the partition, and I will be lucky and, and copy uh, customer files <coughs> off. Uh, the next thing that many people do are uh, uh, try using logical recovery software, right? So whatever software you're using, I know that Macworld usually uh, using uh, uh, Discordia, right? It's so, but there are plenty of different uh, uh, data recovery software, right? Like R Studio, uh, Get Data Back, uh, Easy Recovery, you name it, yeah, many. Of them. <clears throat> so that's also what people usually do, okay? If I don't get access to, to files, I will try, I will cross my fingers and try uh, using logical uh, recovery software. <clears throat> uh, few people are using imaging, cloning software. So when we have a problem and, and drive uh, is not being mounted, uh, or data recovery software fails, then some people are trying uh, uh, imaging, cloning software, right? So we will, we'll, we'll talk about this uh, process later on, but I'm just, re, uh, just, just going through what people are usually doing. And if all methods fails, the drive is outsourced, right? So I try data recovery software, I try you know, plugging in, plugging out the drive, I, uh, maybe I even try imaging software, whatever imaging software you're using, everything fails, so we outsource. So what problems we have with this process? What problems? <clears throat> well, the first thing, obviously, there are no diagnostics, right, to separate data level from disk level and drive level issues. So you guys don't have tools and capabilities to understand what's causing uh, that problem. And I, I explained to you, there could be even like occasional bad sector, it could be disk level issues, and drive just drops by system software, okay? If you knew what problem the drive has, whether it's data level issue or disk level or drive level issues, you would know what to do, right? And you would sleep better, right? So that's the first problem. Another problem is that if the drive is unstable, that every failed recovery attempt will cause further degradation, right? And this is what I, I told you, and you're actually decreasing the chance, ch chance of subsequent successful recovery. Uh, and this is regarding all those crazy things that Drive is doing, and, and whenever you try to retry, 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 access that, uh, obviously whatever condition of the Drive, but it's degrading for sure. It's just a matter of how much time you have until it dies on you, okay, completely. And uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, by the way, uh, about these retries, even when system software sends just one command to read block, and drive cannot read that block, it, it is actually retrying multiple times itself. Drive is retrying. And usually this is what's causing this, this uh, long time to respond. It's retrying, 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 and only after you try like, a, I don't know, 500 times, and it cannot read, then it does even, you know, worse things to it that I, I told you, go into firmware, updating, and different things, okay? So, so you should also keep in mind that whatever you are doing, if you are not sure what you are doing, uh, it's better not to do that, okay? Because really, like, the chances are, are dropping, <coughs> okay? <clears throat> Then uh, the other problem uh, is that no control over that retrieval process, right? So, so uh, you, 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 you're just blind, really. So you just connect the drive, and, and you, you, you cross your fingers, you, you run so, some software, and, and no reporting uh, you know, tool is available in system software. You don't even know what's happening. That's a problem, right? Because like, it's, like, it, it's, 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 uh, it's low as your confident level. You are not sure what you're doing. You don't know, where, you know what is happening. You don't even know whether you should wait or not. 
right? So no communication, no, no ability to see what is going on behind whatever system software <coughs> used, uh, is doing. Yeah, and I forgot another problem is that recovered files, uh, there is no tool to identify whether recovered files are corrupted or not, right? Even if you get access to that, and when you run that recovery software and you save some files, you're saying like, you know, like a hundred, you know, thousands of files, how, how do you know if uh, what you save is actually integral data, right? There is no way of saying that. And there are no tools, I'm telling you, exist that, that, are, that are able to verify logical integrity of files. The only way would be uh, like you, you will try opening up, right? But you can try a few, right? But not like 100,000 files, or thousands of files. And another issue, even if we, when you open up the file and it, it opens up, it doesn't necessarily mean the file is not corrupted. Because many applications will still open your file, but if that was, uh, for instance, a document, right, that contained like 200 pages, you open it up and it opens fine, but it has 10 pages, right? So, and, and so there is no guarantee and there is a conflict of interest now between your client and you, because you don't know even if you actually made a recovery, whether you made it or not, right? So that's, that's one of the other problems also that, you, that you're facing, that IT industry is facing. <clears throat> and, and the last thing is there is the potential of causing irreversible data loss, um, repairable damage to the drive. Unfortunately, there are cases when uh, this degradation leads to a complete failure and make the drive unrecoverable. Well, it doesn't matter whether it's professional data recovery shop or, or whoever it is, okay? Because uh, we, can, we can just talk about physical scratch. Okay, so if you just retry, 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 the drive may, degradation may lead to physical scratch and a physical destruction of magnetic layer, okay, of the platter. So it's, it's theoretically un, un, unrecoverable, okay? So that's another thing that, uh, <coughs> um, by the way, we, we made a uh, survey like uh, about a few years ago uh, and uh, uh, participated like uh, professional data recovery companies uh, from, uh, I know, like from about 20 countries, okay, like about 100 specialized data recovery companies. If you want, you can have a look in our blog, on our website. But, uh, but the thing, it's interesting results. So they're just coming up with different statistics, okay. But uh, one of the things that uh, uh, surprised me is that uh, about every, I believe every sixth drive uh, is uh, uh, unrecoverable due to previous recovery attempts. Okay, so basically when someone is trying to recover data and, and damaging the drive, okay, and that's, that's quite a number, right? Like every six drive is unrecoverable just due to the previous recovery attempts. And the, and the previous recovery attempts, I don't mean, you know, if you open it up and, and try to spindle, you know, spindle by finger, you know? <laughs> like uh, I'm saying about just running different types of software and just software attempts may, may make the drive unrecoverable. <clears throat> So, um, now the wrong way. Any, any questions so far? No? Okay. So, 